welcome Mr. Steve Patterson. I really do love you, Montreal, and I, I miss you. I lived here up until last year, and unfortunately, I, I had to move. But I miss Montreal, and ironically, I miss the French. I miss the French language, even though I don't speak the French language. I miss it. I wish I spoke more French, but I, I grew up in Toronto. So I took Toronto French class. <laughs> They're not even trying, to be honest with you. And that was Steve Patterson. In 2011, he won the award for Canada's Best Male Stand-Up Comic. He's also the host of a comedy radio show called The Debaters. And this week, during the Just for Last Festival, he's hosting a series of solo shows at Studio Théâtre at Place des Arts. And welcome. Okay, so I saw the show last night. Yes, thank My you husband fine. was laughing so hard, he was in tears, and he doesn't like stand-up comics. That's a great, that's a great sign. So that's good. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I hope that's good. Either that or he was choking. I don't know. But, um, but it's, I've never been in Studio Théâtre before. Mm -hmm. It's a really small venue. And it's nice, isn't it? Do you like working small crowds like that? Yeah, it's very intimate. I think it fits, you know, 100 and change or something. It's, it's what a typical TV studio audience would be. So it's, it's got that feeling of the audience right on top of you. And if it goes well, as you heard, it's, uh, it's great. It's a yeah, magical atmosphere. it went well. I mean, you really had the audience last night. It, it, it must be such a, a thrill, right, for a stand-up comic to have that audience with you like that? Well, that's what we're here for, you know, that's what we, it, everyone laughing feels good and to have had a part in making everyone laugh, it's like a, it's like a drug, but much more acceptable and cheaper, frankly, uh, from what I've heard. <laughs> so uh, it's, it is, it's a great feeling and I hope, I hope every crowd like, is like that this week, yeah. You've got some really interesting observations, right, because you're talking about the politicians and how you can't lose, right, with the kind of politicians and the mayors we've had lately? I, I just want to say to all the Canadian politicians, just thank you on behalf of all comedians. Thank you for doing what you're doing. It's making our job, I wouldn't necessarily say easier, it's just certainly giving us more to draw from. And finally, we don't have to look south of the border for ridiculous behavior to make fun of. Uh, there's some really good meaty stupidity going on in Canadian politics that I can talk about now. It's great. But, but you really do adjust your comedy to the different parts of uh, like yesterday you know obviously you're playing to a Montreal crowd mm -hmm. you must do a lot of reading right just to keep up on the politics and all the events that are going on and everything yeah I used to uh, read just the sports pages first and now I've realized if I'm gonna do comedy all over the world to all sorts of people I need to read all sections of the paper so <laughs> uh, some of it I still don't understand but um, I, you know I like to try to get stuff out there to people and it helps me understand it and I like to try to get some sort of point to the comedy as well that they can laugh, but it also makes a point, and that's that's what I try to do. Well, the other thing where where you make the point, and I thought it was great, is you sort of chastise us very gently, very in a funny way about about social behavior and people being rude and people being nice and. Yeah, it's, it's nice to get that message across in a nice way. Like that. I like to, and I, you know, can't really talk about exactly what it what it <laughs> what it is here, but. Uh, you know, I think that being uh, being friendly to people is better than the alternative, which yes. we'll call we'll call not friendly for okay. for this uh, news hour broadcast. Um, and I think that if you, know, I think there's more good people in the world than bad, and it's uh, it's our job as good people to kind of uh, rise up and, and celebrate that and and chastise the bad people uh, where where you can. And that's what I'm trying to get out in my comedy. I want it to be positive, and not. And not negative and try to help and then that's why I break into song at certain points during the show and people started singing along uh, last night which I didn't and, expect. And because they'd never heard the they'd song never heard before. The song. <laughs> which if you, is great. If you can <laughs> sing along to a song you've never heard that's pretty powerful yeah. So you say you got into stand-up because you don't like mornings? That's one of the main reasons yeah I mean I have a business degree I there's many other things I could be doing I uh, went to law school for a while and and I still have great friends that are lawyers and business people but uh, I've decided that this is what I do best, and the not having to do early mornings is a uh, is a nice but benefit. But what is of it. the attraction then? So you got a business degree, you could be a lawyer, you could. So what is that? Is it that that thrill that that you would gotten last night when everybody's just laughing with you and singing with you? I think so. I think that. Um, if you could do something really well, you should be doing it. You know, it's my passion is to do is to do this, and uh, I think that any comic that's really good that you see them, you get a feeling as a musician, as anyone you're watching doing their job really well. You're thinking this person's doing what they're supposed to be doing. But it's not easy, is it? I mean, it's hard work. I mean, I, you know, we just sit back and you know, we either laugh or we don't. But it's a hard business to be in. 
Uh, it is hard, it's a hard business, but I mean, we, you know, as working, strictly speaking, working hours go, it's a pretty good gig. I mean, when you're a comp, <laughs> I'll be doing 10 hours of work this week, uh, frankly speaking, on stage. I have 10 well, some hours Some people think stage, that's but, what I do, too, actually. Right. <laughs> that's right, right? Yeah. They're thinking, like, it's only working 10 hours yeah, this right. week. Seems like a good gig. But a, lot, <laughs> a lot of prep goes into it. You always have to have your eyes open and uh, your ears open and see what's going on. I like to keep the show current. And, and, this, and you do. Tonight's show will be different than last night's, and every night will be a little different depending on what happens during the week. So, well, you know what? It was it was great. We enjoyed it thoroughly. It was very very funny. Thank you so, so, thank so, much, you so for much for coming. Um, so it's at the Studio Théâtre, which is a, a small theater at Place des Arts. You're there until the 27th. You're also doing a gala on the 26th. On too. Friday, yeah, yeah, with Kristen Chenoweth. So we'll both break into song. Maybe we'll get to do a duet. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for coming. Thank and you, you do very a great much. thing with your, the golf cart story. It's worth it. Worth it alone? For All right. Yeah. Come for the golf cart. Stay for the rest. <laughs> okay. The cyclists were fun.